Hi, this is Lawson from AM Electronics, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to download the Drag Race configuration into your AQ1 software. To do that, we're going to need AQ1 software. So let's go to amelectronics.com. We're going to hover over the Support tab, click on the Software Downloads link. It brings you to our Software Downloads page. From here, you can either scroll down or go ahead and click on this link right here, and it'll take you right to the AQ1 software. You're going to need .NET Framework to run the AQ1 software. If you don't have that, click on this link. It'll take you to an external link where you can download .NET Framework. And once you've done that, you'll click on this download link here, and it'll download the software for AQ1. I've already done that. It's right here. Once you've downloaded it, you'll click on Run, and there's a wizard that'll take you through the setup process. It's very easy. It's like any other software you're going to download. If you've downloaded software before, it's just like riding that bike. I've already got the AQ1 on my computer, so we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to that. Once you've downloaded the AQ1 software, you're going to have an icon like this on your desktop. It's a shortcut icon. I've just pulled this down into my dock. You'll click on this icon, and it's going to load the AQ1 software. <laughs> I don't have an actual AQ1 connected, which is why I got this this um, this window right here that says cannot connect to the device. You will be connected to your AQ1 when you do this, so this will not appear. Once you've loaded up the software, you're going to come over here to the AQ1 tab, click on that, and then click on open configuration. It's going to open a configurations folder where you're going to find the AQ1 drag race configuration. You'll click on that and click on open. And if you followed the the input channels, putting the correct sensor in the correct inputs per the Drag Race software specifications, you're pretty much ready to go. As you see, analog one will be water temp, two and three will be air fuel for driver and passenger, air inlet temp, fuel pressure, oil pressure, and so on. A couple things to note. If your drive shaft speed sensor is not the Edelbrock unit that we call out in our configuration, you're going to want to go over here to your channel 7 and configure your drive shaft speed sensor that you do have on your vehicle using these parameters. It's very easy to get into, or very easy to do. We're not going to get into the details in this. We can show you in a different video. The other thing that you're going to want to do and set your accelerometer. Again, we're going to get another warning when I do this because I don't have the AQ1 connected, but what you'll want to do with your AQ1 connected is click on Choose and Calibrate. And here you'll see a menu of configurations of orientation of the front and rear of the vehicle as well as orientation of the AQ1. You'll select the one that best fits the way you've mounted the AQ1 in your vehicle. Let's just say we've mounted it like this, and you'll click OK, ignore that, and once you've done that, now you can see it's changed here, and you've calibrated your accelerometer so that you can properly access G-loads. Once you've done that, you can run a test. Again, I'm not going to do that because I don't have an AQ1 set up, but it'll run a 10-second log. You can now take that 10-second log and download it into AEM data analysis using the drag race template in AEM data, which we show you how to set up in a separate video. And you're ready to start reviewing data, going a little faster, maybe setting some records, and most importantly, winning. Thanks for taking the time to watch.